right, it is haul time once again. Today is December the 11th, 2015. And I have a uh, small, well, uh, medium scale die cast haul for you guys. Mostly Hot Wheels, so let's get right to it. Uh, some old school uh, Disney Pixar cars. These are old pieces I picked up at a local toy convention, toy fair, a toy bazaar here in Manila. Uh, I got them at a good price. The Ferrari and... Uh, Greta? Greta, right. There you go, Greta. Um, she was, I think, also released in a Radiator, Toys R Us exclusive, I think, Radiator Springs type of card back. Uh, but I like this one a lot better. I like this, this, this packaging, this card better. All right. More cars. Last two I picked up at the convention at the Toy Fair. Chase figures. I was I've never seen these before. Uh, the Mini, the Morris Mini or Mini Cooper, Becky Whelan, Be Becky Whelan. Yeah. The other Chase was the Radiator Springs one. I don't really care about that. But these two, were, this one was nice. Uh, I didn't think they'd do a uh, Nissan Cube or a uh, no. It's not a Cube. It's a Scion uh, BB X uh, XB Scion. I think. I think it's a Scion, not a Nissan Cube. Yeah, because the Nissan Cube's windows, they, they suck. So it's a Scion. Uh, and wow, really nice. So really glad to have picked those up at very, very good prices. Okay, uh, if you remember in one of my haul videos, I said that the, um, the local retailer, lo local importer that distributes to the local retailers of Hot Wheels cars, they skipped the cases H, J, K, L, and M. So we never got those cases. Well, we got the M case because we got the N case. So the, the re, M cases get re, M case car, cars get repacked in the next case. So we got the M case, and uh, <clears throat> so we never got the H, J, K, and L. Uh, there was a, a the, the same toy convention, toy fair, here in Manila. The Christmas I forgot to mention the Christmas collectibles toy fair, uh, down at Mega Mall, December 11 to 13th, uh, 2015. Uh, there was a guy selling a, a case of K cases. Way out, he got it at Hong Kong. Um, I know it's from Hong Kong because there's like a, a sticker at the back and a hologram sticker that says, if I'm not mistaken, I think this is really from Hong Kong. I could be wrong, but uh, normally cars don't have that. Anyway, so uh, I decided to pick up a couple of cars I've never seen on local retail because they got skipped. I was kind of glad. Uh, I picked them up at 30% cheaper than regular retail. Uh, these are really for Alex and Dad. I actually like this one, the Night Dragon. We're going to open it up. This, this works so well in the boosters and in the, the, the loops. Very, very nice. Night Dragon. Same with the Tomb Up. Man, this thing looks so cool. And this one, I've never gotten this one, the H2Go. Uh, no, I, I think I've gotten one before, but this is, this is like a nice little... A deco, uh, nice tempos on it. So I decided to pick it up. Alex and Danny will open it up. One thing I was very surprised to pick up is this one. It had a K, there was like a bunch of these in the K case. The Harley Davidson Fat Boy. I think this is the best iteration that the Fat Boy has ever, that, that, that ever been released by Mattel for the Fat Boy. The best one, I think. Uh, this one is a little bit tarnished metal. This one's super chrome, chrome engine, and this one just okay. But very, very nice. Uh, very pleased with this one. I'll show you guys what it looks like. Let's see if we can open it. Man, it is a pain to open that. I picked up several so I can show you guys so you can open that. Boy, there's, there's a nice little um, bubble inside just to protect the car, keep it from moving. Okay, wow. Uh, die cast everywhere except for the seats and the handlebars, but very, very nice. Would have been a great super treasure hunt. So very, very cool. Keep that there. Okay. Uh, it's not a super. I'm hoping I can still get the super at a local hobby shop if it's still available because this was the first. I mean, people were buying this for a ridiculous price, like thirty dollars, the super treasure hunt, but. The regular version looks good enough. I mean, it looks looks great in its own way. Uh, just great. Let me show you guys. The Lancer Evo Evolution. Uh, yeah. Wow. Jet black. Glossy jet black finish on it. With the uh, 
maximum attack uh, tempos on it. A and M, A E M. Look at that. Just great all over. Purple rims. Blue, blue, blue rims. Okay. Uh, Anyway, the 90s Acura NSX. Not bad, not bad at all. Not bad looking. Oh, I'm pretty pleased with this one. We'll keep this one MOC. Uh, it's not bad. I like the color. Oh, yeah. This one. God. Like, online retailers are selling this one like ridiculous prices. The Datsun 240Z done in white. Uh, I already have the black version, but the white one just looks so nice. Oh, man. Look at that. Great tempos all over. I'm going to keep this one MOC because it's just so difficult to come by with that. Um, okay, what else? <clears throat> the Lamborghini Urus. I'm going to open this one up. I'm not particularly fond of this color. I like the blue one better. The red one was great, but this white one is just a little bit off. They did this with the Aventador. No, the Aventador was a matte white but this one is a little bit glossy not glossy metallic glossy if there's such a thing it's just too white for me um it looks great i mean it's not bad looking but it is a little bit too plain for me i wish they had made it pearlesque a little bit more pearlesque uh it, this one is i think it's a little bit short i don't know why it's something off with it uh, it's not showing up on let me show you guys see there you go look at that it, it's just toothpaste anyway <clears throat> all right on with the other do you guys like it with the light or without the light let's turn off the lights um aston martin vantage gt we got the black version but the blue one is just amazing um yeah well, let's open up one i'm gonna show you guys how cool this car is i love the black version but the blue one wow wow just great in its own regard a little bit of chipping right there in tempos but that's fine very, very cool. Turn the lights on and we'll pop it up like that. All right, cool. Oh, custom Ford Mustang. Falcon. This one is okay. Let's see if I can show you guys. FX fans against the, the Hot Wheels cars. Yeah. Okay. It's not bad. I like the Falcon design, but uh, for this particular casting, using the blue and green, eh, white rims, they're okay. Yeah, okay. I'll live with that. The 90 Corvette ZR1 done in that Gulf paint deck. Oh, man, it was so difficult to find one with decent enough paint apps. This one, really, really nice. We'll keep this one MOC. Because it was just so difficult to find. The Corvette C7R. Not bad. Not bad at all. I love the rims. They're all black. Yellow. Very canary yellow. A metallic canary. If there's such a thing. Really nice. I like this. Not bad at all too. Okay. Um, Alright. And last of the um, K case. Which I think was were carryovers from the J case. I could be wrong. Uh, the last one I'm pretty sure was a carryover from the J case. So we got the Morris Mini in blue. It's okay. Not too bad. I'm going to open that one up. Porsche 911 GTR R GT3 RS. Wow, a lot of collectors were after this one. There was like, I found like two and one guy just snagged one out of me, out of my hand. I was like looking through the box and he got this big, look at it, what the hell? I'm looking here, man. And he got one. That's okay. I got all the fat boys and he says, give me one fat boy. Okay, fine. Give me one of these. And gave me one of these and I gave one of the fat boys so pretty neat this was so cool I like it I like the red on it sporty red this one I'm pretty sure was from the J case the 70 Ford Escort RS 1600 the fast and furious the one driven by Brian O'Connell uh, and this one cost a lot of money in, in the hobby shops I don't know why but did they did they just do because maybe the actor died or this was very significant and very, very hard to come by. The white one is easier to come by than this one for obvious reasons. But, uh, yeah. All right. On to 
the C case for 2016. Now, I was surprised that the C case had actually made it to Manila way before Christmas. And I was hoping, I was expecting it to be, come out like after Christmas, but I think a supplier worked overtime and the C case is here. But some, some uh, carryovers from the B case, the 2015 Ford Mustang. We'll keep that one MOC. I already opened that one up in my previous review. The cool one, Super Mario, another one. And of course, the time machine hover mode. I can't get enough of this car. This is just so amazing. I hope I can get the retro um, version, the retro entertainment version. We'll see. All right. A uh, couple of cars that I want Alex and Danny to open up. The Dogzilla, new for 2016. I thought those were pretty cool. I don't think it'll do well in the boosters, but we'll see. This one definitely does well in the loops and the boosters. The Aeropod. I love this. I love the design on it. This one translucent blue and it's an X racer. Very, very nice. Cloak and Dagger. I've never really opened up this one. I'm going to let Alex and Danny open it up so they can see how the Cloak and Dagger gimmick works on this one. I hope it, can still, I hope it still works. We'll see. Oh, more from the C-Case. Chevy Camaro Concept. I uh, wasn't too sure about this one. Uh, the Hot Wheels Racing Deco done in black. It was black and gold, so I decided to pick it up. But there's this multi-tone uh, Hot Wheels logo going on. Uh, a little bit distracting, but I guess it's fine. I'll put it in my Camaro collection anyway. Then we got the Volkswagen Caddy done in red. I'm not entirely sure this thing was ever released in this color. Uh, I, I, know, I know Volkswagen's released back in the day um, uh, colors that weren't like this deep or they were like playful or light right like more like these or these but interesting you know i do like it i like this metallic it looks like nail polish type of uh of red um turn off yeah um glittery nail polish type of red it's fine it'll, it'll go in my uh cars collection the 90s acura nsx done in blue the red one was still better i think in my opinion uh, then and now, but the blue one's not bad either. Um, and I like the I like the rims on this one. Nice deep metallic blue. Nice logo right there, right there. Cool. Dodge Ram 1500. I'll open this one up. This one's just way too big. I'm not gonna fit in the jammers or anywhere like that. This one, a lot of collectors were after this one as well. The Toyota Supra. I don't know for some reason here in Asia, Toyotas are, are very, very, you know, collectible. A lot of collectors are after them. But this one's nice. Two-toned wheels, the gray at the rear, yellow in front. Um, they really did that on purpose, as you can see. Not an error. Metallic green. God, this thing just pops. Very, very nice. I'm glad I picked up a couple of these. But very, very cool. Toyota Super. Always nice. Ford Fiesta. Man, this thing is just so weird. Arctic colors. Oh, I'll probably just hang on to this one. Keep it MOC. Uh, I don't know. I don't know where, what to do about it. It's either you hate it or you like it. Oh, the... Repaint of the Arkham Knight Batmobile. I got a couple of these. Uh, we'll open up one for you guys. It's been released several times. It's been released in the in 20, 2015, I think. twenty The 2015 line or 2014 line. Uh, 2015. It's nice. This one is a little bit glossier. Uh, not as accurate as the other one. But it's still a nice looking Batmobile. I love the wheels. I like the insert. Very nice. Metal body. Very, very cool. I don't play the game, so... Okay, Corvette Stingray, new for 2016, Hot Wheels Mild to Wild. This was nice. Uh, I actually really enjoy this car. I mean, I like this car. It's very simple. The tempos are just plain. Um, yeah, it's just as classic as classic gets with these Hot Wheels cars. Very nice. A candy red, white tempos gold rims just just nice overall this one's this one is a must-have for 2016 okay 
Uh, something new again for 2016. And this one's a fan favorite. A lot of fans were after this. And I was picking through one with one guy, and there was like three of them. And says, why, two of them. Why don't you get one of these? He says, what is it? It's, dude, it's the Porsche Outlaw. It's like, come on, man. It's, <laughs> you gotta get yourself one of these. I mean, it speaks for itself. You don't even have to. It was like, it was, I was wondering why I was explaining to the guy why he had to get this and he was a hardcore Hot Wheels collector and he, he was picking up the Ford Willys. I was like, dude, you gotta pick this one up. Alright. Look at that. Just great. Great. It, the only problem I have with this car is just too small, I think. Um, let me focus on that. Yeah, it's a little bit small. I, I, I was I was actually kind of hoping it'd be a bit as big as a tail dragger or something like that. A little bit bigger. But it's, it's, it's kind of cute and small. Nice tempos on it. Nice um, flat black. Uh, just nice overall. It's as nice as this one. All right. Last couple things. Um, <clears throat> the Nissan Fair Lady Z. Oh, man. Everyone was like after this car. I don't know why. But because of the Need for Speed logo. I mean, the movie didn't even do well. Um, but it's a nice car. Without the need for speed, I, I didn't even notice it was need for speed. I picked this up and it was like, wow, it's a nice car. And then I saw it, wow. Okay, that explains it. That's why a lot of collectors were after it. So, really, really cool. Let me give you a close-up on that. Just look at the tempos on it. Just great. Okay, then I picked up the Ford GT. And also in the Gulf, if you notice something. There you go. It is an error. I'm not really big on errors, but this one, it was too <laughs> interesting to actually pass up. Uh, they got the top tempos, but the side ones, they skipped on it. But it actually looks nice even without these, but yeah, I'm keeping it. <clears throat> Last thing I picked up for the C case, and this one was ridiculously difficult to find. Uh, it's a regular trash run that's actually a real car. The 11 Corvette Grand Sport, and this was being hoarded, and uh, I was glad I did pick up two. And uh, yeah, and I'm gonna open up one because I need one outside the packaging. And for the international cards, um, you get just one uh, flame logo, and it is a nice, nice looking car. We'll keep one uh, for, to keep MOC. And look at that! Oh, I love these Corvettes. And uh, this one's done in deep red, deep candy red. The rims, yeah, that's the only thing bothering me about it, but it, they, they've done it well enough. That's, there you go, there's your Circle Flame logo. So very, very cool. All right, that's for the basic cars. Five pack, a new Batman five. I was surprised this came out. I uh, wasn't sure we were gonna get it. Uh, you got the Joker, uh, the Penguin and the Joker. Um, the So Fine and the Midnight Auto for them. The Ford Fusion for the police car and the Batmobile. This was released several times. The Batcopter. I wish they would just do like two Batmobiles instead of giving us a Batcopter. Okay, uh, on to the good stuff. A new five pack Star Wars uh, was released. Uh, very nice. This one is nice because this is the two sided vehicle. You flip it over, it becomes Anakin. Flip it over, it becomes Darth Anakin Darth Vader. Very, very nice. Those are the two ones I was really, really looking forward to. I already have Kylo. I already have this. No, I'm not too interested in the Obi-Wan. But these two. I wanted it. The Emperor Palpatine and the, the reversible Anakin. All right. And the last set of cars I'm going to show you guys is the latest retro entertainment cars that hit. The, the, I picked this up not on retail, but on uh, the toy fair, the toy convention. Uh, I got it for a good price, decent enough price. The bat, no rubber, no rubber wheels. I think, you, guys, you, you know, if you get this one, you get short. I had to get the set. But this one, you get short change with this particular car because there's no wheels, no rubber wheels. So, yeah, I had to get it a set to get it at a good price. If I got it, uh, if I got it separately, the price was double. The spy who loved me, the Lotus Esprit S1. This one, the this is there was one that was done in the uh, with the submarine mode. This one is the car mode. Not bad, not bad. I like the rims on it. Very classic. Starsky and Hutch. Man, I was like a baby when this one was going on. Uh, was showing on the TV. Uh, wow. 
Uh, my dad would tell me about Starsky and Hutch when he would drive like a maniac or drive really fast. And he says, I drive like Starsky and Hutch. And I was like, huh? <laughs> so, okay. And the last two cars I'm going to show you, these were the ones I was really looking forward to for this particular wave of retro entertainment cars. Let's start with this one. The Back to the Future 1955 car uh, with the white out, uh, white walled uh, wheels and just great, great looking car with the makeshift uh, conductor, whatever, I forgot, and then the futuristic uh, energy, the recyclable engine thing, uh, I forgot what it was, but it was very, very nice. I have yet to get the hover mode, and the one that has that one, ugh, those things are being hoarded, I might have to pay double at a hobby shop. Possibly the only thing I was really looking forward to the most, if I didn't get the others, it would be fine, but I had to get this one. The Ecto-1 Ghostbusters cartoon car from the real Ghostbusters cartoons. I watched this cartoon when I was a kid, like dinner time every Fridays. Man, I had I watched it after the news. There was no cable back then, and man, I had to get this one. This was probably the best one in the lot, I, I can imagine. So there you go, folks. That's my little die-cast haul, mostly Hot Wheels. Hope you've enjoyed it. Until next time, thanks for watching.